So in this video, I want to show how to sculpt a mesh that is not optimized and is not using all quads as the basis. So we have a mesh here. It looks pretty good, but of course we don't have all quads and so we can't use the subdivision surface modifier or the multi-resolution modifier, at least not in the typical use cases for that. So instead, I'm going to select just this base object by pressing slash on the number pad, and I'm going to duplicate this. That's really important. And I'm going to select sculpt mode, decrease the strength, and just do some sculpting. This is nothing fancy, just to be able to show some basic modifications. I'm not making super big changes to the overall mesh, but enough that we can notice them and something like this. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of different shading issues. We, we can see all of the individual faces. Let me zoom out here. You can see all the individual faces. And that of course is a problem. And if we shade smooth, well, that's okay. We, we might be able to add a edge split modifier. We still have some banding here. We have some really faint banding here that you may or may not be able to see in the video. And so it's like, it's, it's almost okay, but we have some issues even with the edge split, especially along the top here. And if we try auto smooth, well, it, that's even worse. And I've discovered that like even with the weighted normal and even with some edge splits, I mean, we're, if we add the edge split here, let's see, that almost works, but we still have some banding in the areas here that we didn't have in the original mesh. So let me show you how to fix this and then I'll explain how it works. I'm going to select the data transfer modifier and select the face corner data and custom normals and select topology and get this object here and blam we now have the smooth shading that we originally had and of course as mentioned in the title this original object was from plasticity so note just as uh, an important note we have a, a good amount of geometry here. It's it's not super dense, but there, there is a good amount to work with for the sculpt. So the reason this works, the reason we get good, smooth, normal shading here is because without this modifier, let me actually turn on the normals and we can see the difference here. If we're using just the auto smooth in this case, the normals are going kind of everywhere I, I don't think there's probably a number of reasons why blender is not getting the normal directions right and honestly even if we shaded this as smooth we wouldn't quite get the settings we want so let me switch back to auto smooth and turn this back on and you can see everything is now aligned back the way it was when it was exported from plasticity so I wish there were a little bit more elegant solution to this, but it does appear to work. And uh, what's really cool is I can apply this and now this is kind of baked and I can delete the old mesh and I don't need it anymore. So let's do that one more time on this top part here. I'll just sculpt along and kind of make this an imperfect object maybe go a little bit overboard just to show that it works and use a data transfer and apply this and we can now render this and look at our camera. And of course the shape is a little bit wacky, but the normal shading is smooth. So I'm pretty happy with this result. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking this video, sharing this video with friends, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.